there we go again guys it's finally come around time to get ready for the mod too <laughs> it's pretty damn early i've been up since six which is bloody early for me i'm not used to getting up early in the mornings as it is but i feel good i'm ready for it i'm now off to do another lesson finally seems like forever that's since the end of last month that i've done the mod one so i got a two hour lesson today on thursday got another two hour lesson and then i've got my mod two next tuesday can't wait to get it over with to be honest it's a little bit stressful thinking about it i'm just going to try not to try and just stay relaxed and Try and keep telling myself I can only do what I can do. Obviously, I won't ride like I ride when I'm not on my lessons and tests. I'll be making sure I do my checks a hell of a lot more. Make sure I use my indicators a lot more because like, there's a lot of times I don't use my indicators if I don't feel I need to. You know? If there's nothing behind me or nothing coming the opposite way at certain places when you definitely know there isn't, there's no point using them really, is it? But I'll make sure I use them all them times. on the lessons and test a lot of the time as I'm going along as well I'll try and at least pretend to do the actions of doing my indicators do my checks and stuff like that just so I'm getting it into my head to do them pretty much all the time but today will be pretty fun just be nice to get back on the M207 and I would say get used to it again, but I'm sure I'll get used to it almost instantly, so I'm not too worried about that. Just should be a, quite a nice, fun, chill day. It'll probably just do what we've done before, just ride about, follow me about, tell me where to go. He might tell me to follow some street signs here and there, just prepare me for the mod to we'll take all sorts of different routes on this lesson and the next one just to make sure we cover as many rows as possible that they might take on the actual mod team so i'm ready for it just looking forward to being back on the m207 to be honest i wish i could just uh, gone straight in for the test just give it a go get it over and done with hopefully if i had a pass and if i hadn't just do it again that probably wouldn't have cost no more than paying for the lessons and test at least it's all paid for and out of the way. Let's just hope I do pass and I don't have to find the money somewhere again to pay for it again. Don't know if I'll be speaking much or filming much. I'll, I'll definitely have my camera on when I'm on the lessons, but I don't know if I'll be speaking much or whatever, but I'll probably show a little bit of it. And then I'll let you know how it goes afterwards anyway. See you again during and or after the lesson. See you in a bit.
20 mile an hour limit, it's just so fucking slow, ridiculous and slow.
go first lesson done. <laughs> well, it went pretty well. I got mostly A's. See, sort of mark you on all the different aspects of riding and all that sort of thing. There's a couple where you put A, B, where it's like, well, you could have done a bit better, but here is understand. Here's like, well, you ain't read it for a while. You still get had to get used to the clutch and stuff again. And he said he think that's because it come from my bike onto that bike. That's quite a bit different, you know. So yeah, well, overall, I think it went fine. Got another couple of hour lesson on Thursday. And then on next Tuesday, I think I'll have a bit of riding about to do beforehand, probably an hour or something or close to, and then I'll do the actual Mod 2 test. What the heck? Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that done really. Kind of hope that'll go a bit like when I've done the Mod 1. Hopefully my lesson beforehand I'll fumble a little bit for some weird reason. <laughs> and then on the actual test, I'll just kick its ears. Let's hope so, fingers crossed. So that's what happened on the Mod 1. Just beforehand we've done a couple of little practice things like U-turns and uh, or what they call it, yeah, it is U-turn it? and uh, mostly stops and things and I did sort of fumble a bit on the U-turns because I was playing back with the clutch but I was on a different MT-07 that time so I've mostly been on the red one they put me on the grey one that day so I was a little bit worried about that as well bit because the clutch and stuff felt just slightly different but the mod one couldn't have gone no better, that was just perfect man. I was so lucky. But yeah, on to mod two. Can't wait to get it done. Should seem really quick on the actual lesson as well, man. Test even. Because the actual test only lasts like 35 to 40 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. This dude don't know what the fuck he's doing, man. I didn't even know I was there. Oh, I forgot to speak. <laughs> it's been deep in thought. Yeah, that's all done now anyway. Wish me luck for more too. Hopefully this week will go nice and quick and I'll get it done. The only worst thing is man, I've got to get up super early for today I had to get up early. I was up at 6 this morning man to get because it takes me quite a while to get ready because I've got to sort cats out, I've got a dog, I've got to walk before and well, as soon as I get up I'll take him out obviously because I need to and uh, just before I go anywhere I always take him out again just to make sure he's had, had his toilet and shit man, you know. So it takes me a while to sort all that out and then sort myself out as well, have some breakfast and that and obviously get ready myself and all the rest of it. But the actual test day, I've got to be up super early because I've got to actually be there at quarter past seven. So to get there for quarter past seven, I want to be leaving about ten to seven, I'll probably make it. So to get leaving at 10 to 7 I'm going to have to be up at least 6 again and rush myself or be up a bit earlier. Pain in the ass. Oh, luckily Thursday's not such an early start so I'll chuffed by that one but yeah like I say wish me luck. I'll let you know how I get on as soon as I do. I'll make a video on the day. I don't know if I'll make a video of the actual because I don't think I really allow it but um, yeah had a good day 
took a little boost to get getting used to the clutch again and that was a bit jerky and shit and the, cut, the bike points didn't seem quite far out on the clutch and then obviously M207s are known for being a bit jerky anyway because of the torque they got on it but yeah I sort of sit fairly soon got used more and more used to it so another day Thursday and then a bit more riding on Tuesday should do me good oh Mr Squirrel ha <laughs> He's still sitting there, he's a little confused, man. He's still sitting there. He's sitting in the room, mate. He don't know what to do. Look, look at him, poor fella. What's he doing? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. <laughs> see you in the next video. White and ivory and black ebony They can't step to me Weaponry is heavenly They can't see us in the 313 vicinity A-O-M Ha 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 I come in like ha ha I'm here like nah nah And y'all don't wanna see me Cause I'm ill with the skill